Hey what's up guys, it's Teke and Go here with an Android 4.2 OTA update for the Galaxy Nexus. To start with, there are a few updates which are really helpful and handy in this update. The first thing being the widgets which are on your lock screen. You can only add one widget at a time, but I'm assuming Android will update to allow more than just one widget per slide. With the widget screen, I hope Google allows third-party apps to be added there because there are only a couple of widgets you can add so if you can see there's only these four that you can add. Another difference is at the lock screen. With before in Android 4.1 the only way you could unlock was by going to the right however in the new one you can go to the left, up, down, diagonally just about anywhere and your phone will unlock. And the camera is now to the right so if you swipe to the right it will open up your camera. Another major feature is the Photosphere. With Photosphere, if you tap on the icon, you get a little dot which I can't demonstrate because I'm in a small area. But what you do is you move it to get a 360 view, sort of like Google Maps. The gallery is also changed, so if we tap, it looks different. I think it looks very nice, and I've also noticed it's a lot faster than the previous gallery. Another major difference is your clock app. So the icon, as you realize, has changed, and once you tap it, the hours is bold and the minutes is just normal and if you swipe to the right you've got yourself a stopwatch and if you swipe to the left you've got yourself a countdown timer so start your countdown another new update is the Gmo app which finally allows users to zoom which we've been waiting for for a while another major difference is the notification. If you swipe down with one hand normally you get your normal notifications and there's a new icon on the corner which looks like a person so if you tap that you get your quick settings. An easier way to get to quick settings is by pulling down with two fingers. The keyboard app has also been updated which is I would say one of my favorite new features so if you tap the messaging icon just to go to text you could normally just text so hello. Apart from normal typing, you can also now swipe your hand over letters to type. For instance, if I want to write hello people, so I'll just go to and it will write a few. I think this is a lot quicker and I'll definitely, definitely be using this a lot. There are also a couple of small new updates which are added. One of them being if you go into the settings and you go to display you've got daydream now what daydream is is technically just a screensaver for your phone which seems like a battery killer but oh well so what you do is you go for example let's go to colors and you go to start now and what it technically does is just is like a screensaver was, I'm assuming it'll start moving around and wasting your battery I think this is probably I think this is actually pretty cool so like if you have the Nexus 4 and you dock it on to charge and you just leave it there however I probably won't use it something else I noticed which is changed is the multitasking now I don't know if you remember with Android 4.1 when you used to multitask it wouldn't show the actual app you're on at the time however the new one it moves up and shows both of them together I don't know if you can see the difference. If I had just these two open and I was on my messaging, if I tap the multitasking on Android 4.1, it would just show me the settings. However, this time it actually minimizes the current app you're on and shows you both. So that's about it for the review of Android 4.2 for the Galaxy Nexus. If you'd like to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe as it really helps me out. Thank you.